Hi everyone, happy New Year's, happy New Year's Eve. Um, I know we have a bunch of different um, people who watch our videos in different countries and states, so I believe right now in Central Standard Time it's about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, so the ball has not officially dropped. So we are still a year behind in 2018, uh, but we wanted to sit down on New Year's Eve around about 10, 30 and film this video and wish everyone a happy New Year's. We hope your 2018 was amazing and your 2019 is even more amazing. And we also do have a brand new palette to um, reveal, uh, swatch, touch, play with, have fun, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi, Happy New Year from our family to yours. We have a very safe, happy New Year and goodbye 2018. I'm certainly pleased to see it go and welcome 2019. <laughs> okay, guys, we are super excited to be sitting down filming this uh, video we got the glam light I believe that's what their name is uh, glam light cosmetics and it is the infamous infamous famous pizza palette oh my god look at how cute that box is isn't it cute this is the pizza palette isn't it cute yeah. so for our last video of 2018 it'll be the pizza palette kind of perfect for New Year's sit around eating pizza we you know watching the new year come in yeah I like that the box actually looks like a pizza box. Yeah, I do like that too. I like that everything inside the box, once you open it, has pizza toppings in it. If you look at the um, bottom of it too, you know how like you order a pizza and it says, do you want cheese, crust? It's on the... Okay, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, it is right here. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Extra cheese, ah. mushrooms, wrappings. <laughs> you get your choice of toppings. That's cute. I like that. Okay, so here is the inside of the box and this beautiful Thank pizza palette. Glam Light Pizza Rific, the most delicious palette ever. <laughs> yeah, yummy palette. Okay. Not really yes. On the back, too, it does have all the ingredients <laughs> where it is um, distributed and then also a cute little warning sign do not eat. <laughs> Is it also cruelty free? I don't want <coughs> that actually. Um, Look at the back of the box. Okay. Warning, do not eat. So if you're delicious, like using pizza palette, hashtag bon appetit, join us for pizza fun. It does not say it's cruelty free. Well, it does not say it's cruelty free. I'm sure it is though, but you know what? Bon appetit. Let's see what we come up with with this beautiful pizza palette. Cute. And then it also does come with this card. It says, hi, glam babies. The world's most epic pizza has arrived. We can't wait to see all of your delicious looks you create with your own pizza. Want to save more dough? Get 15% off your next order. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, video. I am not an affiliate, but I'm pretty sure this comes in all of your orders that you receive. So um, if you do not order the pizza or want to order something else, I will link this below. I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but hey, it's always worth trying to save some coin, especially in this day and age. Electric right. bills are coming due. Yeah, definitely. Especially in Minnesota, it's freezing. Mm -hmm. So our heat's cranked all the way up. I think it's like 10 degrees here. Mm -hmm. 10 or 6, one of the two, but it's, it's not very warm. There's no difference between 10 and 6. It's just cold. Yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. We'll have mom read off the names, <laughs> do some swatches, try some different eye looks, and let's see what this pizza palette has to offer. And we're rolling. And we're rolling. <laughs> Take that off. That's ridiculous. It's not fitting. Okay, so this is the pizza palette. Eight de 18 delicious toppings. That's exciting. <clears throat> okay, if you like pizza, you're in. So okay. this, hey, it was taped, that's awesome. This is the, it comes with this gigantic mirror, okay? See the giganto? Mm -hmm. Okay, not blinding you because that would be too much. Wow, oh, hey there, I'm staring at my own mirror. <laughs> anyway, that would be, uh, that would blind you guys. We don't want to do that. But anyway, here are our toppings to this be beautiful pizza palette, okay? So you can see you got your red onions, you got your bacon, pineapple, Yum. mushrooms, extra cheese, green peppers, calamati olives, I don't know how to say that, pepperoni, ham is down here. I've got it way too low. Um... We got here, we got marinara sausage, black olives, jalapenos, some meatballs, some hot sauce, some, I think I did pineapples, yeah. Okay, basil, mm -hmm. prosciutto, 
and garlic. So there is the beautiful thing. It is labeled on the front. Pretty cool. The other palettes we've done has been labeled on the back. So that's pretty nice. cool. You can see all the colors. And the pan size is large too. Yeah. Does it tell you how much you get in there by chance on the back of it at all? Well, we're going to see how much this is. Okay. I'll have a fresh pizza. Yeah, freshly <laughs> delivered. Okay, this is 36 grams. There you go. Okay, so 18 times 0.07. I don't know what that means. Designed and assembled in the good old USA. Nice. Yay! Cool. I am excited. I personally am a fan of Hawaiian pizza. Um, who, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's just a uh, pizza, marinara, um, Canadian bacon, and pineapple. What's your favorite pizza? You really hate pizza? Hawaiian. With the pineapple and the Canadian bacon and the pizza sauce and the thick crust. Yes. Ooh, stuffed cheese crust. Yeah, stuffed cheese crust. Very good. Let's do this. Sound off down below what your favorite pizza is. Yeah, or what you pick. Yeah, your favorite pizza or your favorite pizza topping. Or what you like to get from Pizza Hut. I yeah. mean, or Domino's or whatever your favorite Pizza Hut yeah. joint is. Cause do you guys have Domino's? And they used to have salads, but then, you know, salads got, like, attacked. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they were, like, recalled. So then I found pasta. Domino's sells services pasta. So that is awesome. So it looks like you get 18 shades, like the yep. box red, and you mentioned. It looks like three of them are shimmers, metallics, and then 15 of them are mattes. So I want to swatch this beautiful pepperoni, jalapeno, green pepper, and red onion. Close. That is extremely pigmented. And I also noticed from watching a lot of other videos on this as well, there is very little fallout with these which is amazing especially if you know you're worried about it getting all over your face um also you don't lose a lot of product that way too so i don't know what they did with their formula but that's pretty amazing i personally want to try it for myself just to see how it applies to the eyes the pigmentation how it blends as well but this is all the shades i swatched that is gorgeous so i am going to try the red onion um it's okay i'm having a slight bit of a problem here the red onion. Very vibrant. No, it's not. The pineapple. <laughs> go around for about 15 times. Where is my ham? Mm, no, it's a shoot off. Yes, ham. There, I made my pineapple. Boom. <laughs> Can you see them? Yeah, like the pink. That is pineapple is beautiful. The pineapple? Yeah. Peppers. Yeah, look ah. at that. Yeah, look at that. There's no fallout. Oh, look at the hot sauce, though. Oh, the prosciutto, maybe. Prosciutto? Yeah. 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 Prosciutto is just Canadian bacon. It's Italian Canadian bacon. Um, it's interesting that they made the hot sauce an orange shade and not red or... That's hot sauce. Well, pepperoni was taken the red. Can I have a baby like that? Yeah. All right. So, we're going to make some great um, New Year's looks here with the uh, pizza palette. And uh, we'll get back to you guys in just one sec. Um, so, what are you going to use as your transition shade? I have no clue. <laughs> There's so many amazing colors. Okay, we're going to go with mushrooms. Okay. I'm going to use the JH34 Morphe Jaclyn 8, or Jaclyn Hill, ja Jaclyn 8, wow. And I think I want to start with prosciutto. That's what I got a mix of mushrooms and prosciutto. Ooh, that's really pigmented. Wow, look at that. It's very coated. And there's very little fallout. I'm going to use my... I have some spray. Chesty and Dundee. Jeffrey Star mirror. Yeah, she uses the clear mirror. I get the pizza man beer. I just wanted to be a pizza man. Everything is takeout. Yeah. Okay, so mushrooms. And we're going to... Where is that prosciutto? Okay. No, that's... Oh, no, I don't want that one. I want mushroom and basil. Let's try some basil. I like basil. Yeah, she's blending out nicely. Can I have some spray? Yeah. It's, it's kind of blending out, but not so much. Oh, look at that. Okay, so when you put on these fabulous eyeshadows, Monty always says drop the product on your corner of your eye and then roll it in. Okay? Monty's my nickname. Oh, I'm sorry. She's my daughter. <laughs> okay, so drop it and roll it in, okay? You following? Because I still can't do it. So if you can't do it, I can't do it. We'll get done together, okay? So drop it here on the outside and then just roll it in. 
Okay, so I use prosciutto as my transition shade, and then she has mushroom as her transition shade. I know when we watched the Jeffree Star review of this, which was pretty epic, I think he had like 5 million views, he mentioned that there wasn't any follow -up. I am finding that to be the same, but normally in all of our videos, I always usually powder these my eyes, so I'm counting on you, Jeffree Star. Don't let me down, and I'm just going to roll with it. So, what do you want to use next? Okay, so after we put on the mushroom, which I'm digging the color, um... Mm -hmm. You know, we're just going to go with that old, this one right here. Kalamala? Yeah. Kalamati. Is it Kalamala or Kalamati? I think it's Kalamati. There you go. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing again. And that is the JH33. Yeah. I've used these brushes so much I can just tell you what they are by looking at them. Because I sure couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then next I think I'm going to dip into red onions. I want to do a different Ooh. look than the red and the yellows that I've been seeing. And I think I'm just going to start packing this right here on the outer V. It is a shimmer shade, so this will be interesting to see how this performs. Because usually shimmer shades don't do too well unless it's actually wet or on the actual lid. So, let's see what it actually look like as more of a base on the trend. You know, I wasn't big on the olive color. I wasn't crazy about it. Yeah. But I am now. I like it. It's a dark red brown. The Kalamala? Yeah. Yeah. So let's see how this red onion does. So I'm moving mine up a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, dog on hooded eyes. Mm. Yeah, that actually isn't too bad, I don't think. Mine Sorry, I'm not trying to block your view either. Mine isn't too high, but too bad, but I lost the spongy again. Where'd that thing go? Right here. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I watched some video, and you're supposed to make your eye shadow. You guys follow me? I don't know if this is true or not, but you're supposed to make your eyeshadow come out as far and your eyeliner come out as far as your um, eyebrows. I don't think so. I mean, I, I like videos like that, but it's like, does that really work for everyone? Because we all have different skin types. Right, right. We all right, have right, different right. like lid sizes and shapes and everybody has different types of eyebrows. So it's like, what may work for you, Mr. Video Person, may not work for me, so... And then the other thing is, is you have, if you have hooded eyes, when you put on the eyeshadow, please don't drag your eyes down. Drag them up, 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 so they're happy little eyes. Because they already are happy little eyes, but you know. Yeah, I go like this. I learned this from Jaclyn Hill. I blend and then swoop up. Blend, yeah. swoop up. Blend, swoop up. So just a little thing I noticed. I'm new at this, so if I suck, I'm sorry. And I'm by far no beauty guru. She's got this in spades, and I'm probably blind as a bat, so... Okay, can I have some more, um... That actually did a really good job. It was a shimmer. What did? Um, what did I use? Red onion. It actually did really good. Well, I'm not exactly unhappy with... Okay, so then she just swirled her brush around. I just want to show you this on camera because this is something I'm not exactly accustomed to at seeing. She just swirled her brush around in column all of olives, and you can see there's very little fallout in it. Like, there's no kickback in that pan. How's it doing on your eyes? It's doing really great. Mm -hmm. Um... It could also be the brush. Yeah. Um, I want to use this meatball color too. It's this beautiful, like, um, warm tone brown right here. That's beautiful. We're not doing so hot with the New Year's look we're coming out with, you know. <laughs> the everyday look. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I am I'm loving right the Kalamara. Um, and I'm not having so much of a problem. I'm going to sweep that up. I forgot about it, guys. Um, that was a lot of sweeping. Um, yeah, I'm not hating the pigmenting. You know, I've been seeing on Facebook a lot. I don't know if it's just like me. But I don't know if you've been seeing it. But on Facebook, I've been seeing a lot of palettes saying that something's really pigmented. I have a lot of those. And they aren't as pigmented as people are saying. They're kind of, you know, uh, you know. Yeah. And what may work for you may not work for someone else, so you know, just keep that in mind. I think YouTube is a way of showing off products that are being released, um, people trying them. Deep it nice. may work for that person. Um, we all have different skin, one skin, different lids and things like that. Different techniques that we use. Um, unfortunately, as we've seen before too, sometimes when they release product, um, they release them in batches. I'm not going to mention that name, but we pretty much already know who she is. Um, I love her first palette, but... With the Volt palette that I got, um, it wasn't as great. Um, yeah. 
as I wanted it to be. But I personally love Jaclyn Hill, and I'm telling you, I almost died in anticipation for that to drop. I, I like, sat online for hours and hours and hours and hours, and I almost cried when I got my palette, and it was what it was. I don't know about palette or batch one, batch two, or anything like that. I just know from what I personally experienced, but then there were people who were getting in their palettes, and they were amazing. So, I don't know. And then I can walk into, like, a, a Morphe store or an Alta store, and their palettes have such great quality, but yet the one that I have, unfortunately, doesn't. So, I guess just depending on... You know, there's a lot of different things that go into it, um, but just depending on you, what type of badge you get, and um, different types of techniques, I think. I think so. And then there's just bad palettes. Yeah. And just like the um, <laughs> the Zodiac tablet, the very first one was so pigmented. Yeah. I couldn't wait for the second one to come the out. The love signs? Yeah. The love cat signs came and I was like, eh. Really? Yeah. So I just put meatballs here um, on my outer V, so I just stamped it here. It's a beautiful warm tone brown. I have a very dark look going on right now. I do too, I'm like. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with the prosciutto just to further intensify and make sure everything is easily blended out. Kind of smooth. And then I'm gonna go back into the red onions and just go right in between here, just to make sure we have a seamless blend. Now that I have darkened up that outer V portion, what are you? What step are you on? I'm all done. I sprinkled it all on there, <laughs> and with pizza because I hate pizza, I always put ranch on it if I do eat it, or hot sauce. Check it out. That color is hot sauce, right? Yeah, this one. That one is hot sauce, but on me, that's what hot sauce looks like when you blend it with the Calma. olives, the calamari. Yeah. Yeah. So the calamari olives, um, the hot sauce went on top just a sprinkle of hot sauce because it's great on everything which is true okay what, what, do you think of my, what do you think of my genius idea i like it i don't know uh -uh. but i like the turn up when you turned up the eyeshadow see how it's like just hanging right here by that yeah i like that that is my invention okay so i'm gonna dip into jalapenos and there is a little bit kickback in the pan i'll show that up close i'm gonna put that this is a dry brush not wet because i want to see how it performs before I wet it. Which one are you putting on? Jalapenos. Ew, jalapeno, really. This is doing nothing. It's like I'm putting on air. What the? Are you using the brown pencil? Mm-hmm. You can, um, I can get you a spray. Yeah. You can spray that black and then line. I'll just cheat and use an, um, mascara. Okay. <laughs> so. That's doing really well not being wet. I think. Look at that. What do you think of the hot sauce look? That's pretty. Spray a little hot sauce? Yeah, it's pretty. I like I think. it. Yeah, and I'm loving this little hangout over here. It's my new signature look. It's going to be a little hangout up here. <laughs> See it? There you go. It's my new signature look. Look at that look. Hi. Huh? Okay. Well, that's not bad. What? Without spraying the brush, it looks really nice. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was really cool, though. But look at this, though. If you take this hot sauce, right? No. This is the orangey, orangey hot sauce, which I think should be red, but it ain't my thing. And you put it, like, slap it on there, it just... Uh-oh, that was really... Well, okay, now we went too intense. Huh? But, I mean... <laughs> golly, what I'm doing here, right? Mm. That isn't even that bad with that orange. Okay. And then I'm going to take the pineapple shade on the, my finger, my middle finger here, and I'm just going to press it in. And my finger is not wet, so you're all completely dry. I just like to see how that actually performs before you actually start adding stuff to intensify. Listen. We had it going. Ooh. With this orange, and I decided to show off. That is so pretty. I haven't seen too many shimmery yellows. I mean, I've seen yellows, but not shimmery. I certainly haven't seen a bright orange use like this at all. No. I've got kind of an uh, alien look going on over here. You do? Yeah. So, <sighs> should I take this off and start over? What do you guys think? No, thanks. I think Why it's would you different. Do that? No, no, it's so, like, dark. Yeah. Yeah, you sure? No, it's taking me a while. All right, let's go back and re-intensify those shades just to make sure everything is evenly blended. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me if I'm spraying orange everywhere. Okay, blend, blend, blend. Oh, wow, I really like that. And that's completely not wet. So these are all completely dry. Mm -hmm. So. I wonder what they'd look like wet, though. I bet you they'd be more intense. That's really pretty. I really like that. What? Do you have the eyeliner? No, I stole it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use my Stila eyeliner. And I'm going to start lining. You know what? I can't do a winged eye. Put a winged eye on me. What? You don't like my winged eye? I like eight coats eyeliner. 
I no longer have eyes. Just okay, don't eyes. move. Close it. Are you just drawing a straight line? Yeah. Okay. I take it right up here, and then you take it a little bit in, and you just draw. It doesn't help me move, though. I didn't move. Really. Let me see. Right? Press two. Okay, this one. Uh -huh. Don't be cheap. Uh-uh. So, yeah, I just take it up here. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it. it up higher, that's why. Yeah, draw it. And then I fold that line all the way through. Okay, guys, so this is how family does makeup. We just slap makeup on each other, okay? Oh, my God, look at how that, that winged eyeliner did, though. Now my eyelashes look like, hello. Did you forget to me? This Jeffree Star, hi, how are you, hasn't moved in, I know. in hours. That is freaking awesome. That mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah, 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 it didn't move. I literally slept in um, Jeffrey who? That one, mm -hmm. and I literally woke up with the same intensity. After nine hours of sleep, I was asleep, and I sleep wild too. But oh, that. Jeffrey, look out, Jeffrey. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so there's that wing. What's the other one on? I really way? like that green. I do too, especially with that. Well, it's actually yellow, but it's coming out green. No, I put some the yellow in the middle. I know. Yeah. But it's coming out green. Yeah. No, I put the green on the lid, mm -hmm. and then I put the yellow in the center. Oh, where was all this creativity when it came to me? <laughs> I just slapped on some orange. And some, you know. I wasn't um, here in my defense. Hey, makeup is an expression of art. We have to go get nails done tomorrow because these are nubs are bad. Bloody nubs. I don't like nails. I love nails. I hate nails. I just feel so restricted. So what are you guys doing for New Year's anyway? This is like digging into my scalp. I just feel so... Sorry, I can't... I know I'm blocking you guys. I'm so sorry, but I cannot put on a wing eyeliner unless I'm like in my. I can't put it on at all. So what you apologizing for? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so now you can see the. I do have a little bit of follow underneath the eye, but it's not terrible. It's not something where I would feel personally that I would need to powder. I'm gonna put some Troublemaker mascara on. I was thinking about doing falsies, but I don't know if I want to because I really want to show off this look. But we'll see. Okay, that's really pretty. You know, on second thought, I think this look needs some lashes. I'll tell you what, one of the biggest hacks you'll ever learn in makeup. Lashes, liner, mascara, fix everything. There's, that's the most well-kept secret. They fix everything. I don't care who you ask, they fix everything. Before I throw on some um, falsies, I'm gonna do my bottom lash line. And I think what I wanna do, so I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus. I think what I wanna do is about my sleeves, of course. And we're going to dip back into that prosciutto and we're gonna be using the JH31. We're just gonna blend down here with that beautiful prosciutto. Yeah, it's really pretty. I really like this. I am very, very impressed with this palette. Um, I can't remember the exact price, but I don't think it was too expensive. I'm just making sure everything is blended, because like I see it in the camera, I'm like, oh, I can do some more blending. And then I'm gonna dump back into that red onion shade. I'm just going to pop that right here using the same brush. Don't need to be too fancy. Oh, that's pretty. Extremely pigmented, especially for a shimmer shade that I'm using as a matte shade. I really like how versatile these shades and um, opacity and opaque they are. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch brushes. I think I wanna get a smaller brush just so we don't get too much of that meatball shade. I think it's one of my personal favorites. And I am going to, okay, so there is, a little bit of kickback when you use a smaller brush so just FYI just line my inner rim here my inner waterline I think it's what you actually call that and it's a little bit dragging out I'm using this brush here and on the other side Okay, I think that pretty much does it for the eyeshadow, the bottom lash line, the mascara, the wing. I'm going to go throw on some falsies because uh, I think this will definitely take the look up. And, I mean, it is New Year's, so let's just take it there. Why not? 
Okay, I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the end of the video. Let's wrap this up with our final thoughts on the palette. The palette itself feels very heavy, very luxurious. You do get tons of product in there. Um, I did experience a little bit of fallout, nothing too serious, nothing too bad. I felt like the colors blended really, really well, especially those shimmers. I didn't have to get wet, which was kind of impressive. Um, I don't know exactly if this brand is vegan or cruelty free. I will see? definitely look that up online look if it is not. Uh, if it is not, I will definitely not be using it again. I probably should have checked that before I started using it. Warning, but do not eat. Just wanted to buy the pizza palette, so. Um, but I will check that out, and I'll let you know down in the description below as long as where you can get it um, and the price of it, um, and also that 15% off code. I'm not affiliated. It comes with every purchase, um, so just be aware of that. But just in case you don't get a palette or you don't get the code, um, you can find it in my description. And don't forget to comment down below uh, what your favorite pizza is or what you did for New Year's, or if you don't like pizza, what you like to get from your favorite pizza joint. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Your support means so much to us. And remember to stay beautiful. And remember, as always, stay sexy. Bye. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. See you guys in 2019. Bye.